I could not keep that face going on. Welcome everyone, my name is Matt, your name is probably something, and today I want to talk about more E3 news. Microsoft coming out, the bull in the china shop continues with Microsoft's unveil of the Xbox One. Now, president of Microsoft's entertainment division, Don Matrick, comes out and says, the Xbox is always going to be online. It's doing that hour, well, does the check every hour, but it requires to be online because of things that's going to innovate with. And if you don't, if you have a problem with that, you buy the Xbox 360 again. You stick with the Xbox 360 because that does not require. That's an offline device. To that, I say, that's some essentially saying buying old technology. That's terrible advice. Well, that's not any good at all. Well, obviously he's not going to say, hey, go buy a PS4. That's just bad business. But the guy interviewing him says, well, some of the examples that come up is one guy said, well, I'm on a nuclear submarine to Matrix says, I don't know what a nuclear submarine is, but I'm guessing it's hard to get internet. I mean, I'm no, I'm no president of Microsoft with a high ed, or 40 something years old. I'm only 22, but... I, I understand what a nuclear sub is. Does Matrick think it's some new subway sandwich coming out high on radiation? No, it's a ship. It's a submarine that's powered by nuclear energy that goes underwater and is down there. Yeah, you're not getting the internet down there. What the hell do you not know what a nuclear submarine is? That was weird. That was very weird of him to say. So I see people on IGN now, though, saying... Why have internet? It's fine. If you don't have internet, just go buy some. Well, pfft. yeah, I have internet too. I have perfectly acceptable internet capable of running everything the Xbox One has to offer. It's the principle that counts, that matters. The principle. So you're telling me that what if you have to move? I know when I moved, my lease on my apartment was out on May 25th of, this is 2012, May 25th. My house lease didn't start until June 1st, and then my ISP couldn't get out here until May 6th. So that's a 12-day window of me not having internet. My Xbox One would have been a brick during that time. My Xbox 360, on the other hand, was able to play games. Is it really, he says he's got this vision that says, we need it to connect to the internet. Is it really necessary? Is it 100% necessary that it has to connect at all times? There's no no possible way, no possible way at all that you have to you can't you have to be you can be offline. Another thing they mentioned is that with it always being online, patches will download as they come up. You won't have to download them at the beginning. To that I say Besides Battlefield 3, every patch I've had is somewhere between 2 to 6 megabytes. There are 2 to 60 megabytes, 60 being very rare and extremely big, 2 being the norm, 2 fours are pretty much normal. I, who's that impatient? Where in a society have we become that impatient that we can't wait the 10 seconds to 2 minutes it takes to download a patch. I can just imagine a guy out there being like, This fucking bullshit, bro! This fucking bullshit! I'm gonna play some Call of Duty, but I got, I got to wait these 2 minutes. The fuck! If you can't wait 2 minutes, is it really worth that the always on to save 2 minutes? I guess I want to wrap up with one more thing, is the always on connect. That just creeps me out. I don't need something, especially with prism breaking, Prism, not Prison, as that show. Not that. Prism, the, the program by the National Security Administration that taps all internet things, probably including this webcam right now. They're probably watching me. Hello. Hello. But, yeah. So that breaks. Now, is the Kinect going to do the same thing? Because Microsoft's already on board with Prism. This shit's hitting the fan, and it's hitting it hard. Is Kinect just part of that? Is every Connect feed being uploaded to their servers? That's a big conspiracy theory. Big ol' conspiracy theory with jazz hands. I don't know why I'm jazz handsing right now, but yeah. Anyways, that's like I guess all I want to say on the matter. If you enjoyed the video, remember sure to leave a like, favorite if you really enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new around here, and I am out.